see certainly uh, the verdict of the high court will be disappointing for us but at the same time we are to be abided by the judgment of the judiciary because this is the a spirit of Congress party and the spirit of the democracy that is sacrosanct and that needs to be maintained. And there is a scope for us to move the higher judiciary, that is Supreme Court. And certainly our party is pondering over moving the apex court in order to mitigate the a problem and we are very much eager to see Rahul Gandhi in his vociferous mood inside the parliament, outside the parliament also. And everybody knows that there is a sinister design being played by the ruling dispensation in order to incriminate our leader Rahul Gandhi because Modi is scared of Rahul Gandhi. The Modi has been suffering from Rahul phobia. This is the problem. Rahul phobia has been haunting Prime Minister Narendra Modi. That is why the entire ruling dispensation has employed all its resources to shut up our leader. But our leader cannot afford himself to be shut up. See the violence in the wake of Panchayat election has been continuing unabated. And recently, I mean, on the eve of Panchayat election that is supposed to be held tomorrow, the violence has been hiked manifold. The issue is that here in West Bengal, the ruling party in connivance with the police has been unleashed virtually a reign of terror in order to retain or rest the panchayat body to their fold. I think and I certainly vouch for it that West Bengal in no way is a competent place. I mean, West Bengal does not have the credibility under this present dispensation to hold any local body election. And I think the local body election cannot be held in West Bengal in a free and fair manner so that common people can exercise their franchise. This is the crude reality of Bengal. Already more than the election itself has taken a toll of more than 17 to 18 lives apart from injuries, arsoning, a bomb explosion, etc., etc. And the entire, see, government, election commission, police, I mean ruling party, election commission, police are in cahoots to thwart the attempt, I mean, to discourage the common people and to turn the election into a farce. So this triumvirate, I mean the toxic combination of ruling party, police and election commission has well said to mar the election by violence and atrocities. And today I am really uh, expressing my concern and consternation of 
what is waiting for tomorrow. See, the issue is that governor's visit won't be able to restrain the violence and atrocities perpetrated by the ruling dispensation. However, there may be some optics but it cannot restrain the violent politics in West Bengal. Because governor, in spite of his good wishes, does not have the wherewithal to execute his direction. And here, the state government, including election commission, they are arrogant enough to disparage any activities of the governor. However, I must appreciate that in spite of all odds, Governor himself has been touring in the various places where occurrences of murder and other violent activities had taken recently. But all said and done, this kind of proactive and the wishes of the government, it is next impossible to desist the ruling violent juggernaut of this state. So that is the crux of the problem, violence, atrocities, which has been continuing unabated. The ruling party is unfazed, undeterred by whatever criticism made against them. They are hell-bent upon trampling the wishes of the common people. Government of West Bengal is hell-bent upon throttling the democratic voices. Namaskar, I am Manak Gupta. If you like this video, please like and share it. And don't forget subscribe and follow us so that you don't miss any news in the world. So, join us with us and watch News24.